Okay, first up is going to be the CL1 ceramic in-ear headphone with the dynamic and ceramic transducers for use with amplifiers. I, I, I cannot get enough of that sticker. I love that. Um, I'm a power user, as everybody knows, so we're going to see about that. Um, Christmas going on, so that's in the background. Uh, CL dynamic transducer. Unprecedented control and accuracy for bass and mid-range frequencies below 8 hertz. I'm going to find out about that. Ceramic plate transducer, unique ceramic plate driver for precision high frequency reproduction above 8 kilohertz. So we're we're making 8 as our number. Um, high resolution sound transducers collaborate for true to life sound across the full frequency range. So that's what that is. Comes in a nice box. Typical RHA high quality presentation. And like the amp, it's got a, it's like etched in, so I now I know how to, this box goes, bam, got it, okay. Open up the box, uh, and you've got a giant, I've never opened this before, so this came with stuff from China pollen or something um that's a that's a that's cool and unique uh it's a giant area and it's just got too little makes them look really small um so stick my finger in here take this out and there they are in the background best would be to push them out from that side because they won't fit my, my human brain. If I tried to push them through the other way, I'd have issues. I'll go ahead and do a close-up of the unit in just a second. So, then you've got, uh, let me do this first. <clears throat> well, damn. Um, you've got cable uh, that is really badass, uh, and you've got another one. Um, what, is one of these balanced or what? I'm not sure. Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know as I figure this out. Remember, I got three things, and they give you. I got 12 days, luckily. So. And then it comes with the case. It's also got an adapter, which you can see right there. Um, open up the case, and we've got holy crap! Holy crap! Uh, a whole bunch of tips. Wow. Um, oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, Jay. Um, and this is the holder for your tips. That is a. That is a whole bunch of, it's like a bag of candy. Um, let me put that off to the side for a second. So th this doesn't get lost. Um, and it's got a, a manual. I'm not even going to open this up because, you know what, yes I am. I thought that's a kind of, what do I need that for? Well, I don't even know what the hell those cables are for. Is that just two different color cables? Is it, they claiming it's got different sound? I'm going to go ahead and cut this out for now and then read this a little bit and then I'll be back. Okay. Let's start out in the super close up. As you can see right there next to the R and RHA, there is a. looks like a ventilation port. Would be the nozzle. Don't know if this could be changed uh, at a later date. I don't want to mess up my zoom right now. That okay? That's an L marking. This is the nozzle. This is the MMCX connector, and then you've got the the ventilation right there. This is really quite small too. So I'm, I'm losing focus. Let me see if I can. No, 
นะครับเอ่อ being a person that doesn't believe in burning um I believe usually your first impressions of items are pretty much the the ones that are the most accurate and then it goes from there towards kind of accepting um the sound or adjusting to it so it's your brain that's burning and it's not anything inside the equipment um and that you're actually looking at a piece of thing that the Sony says it needs like 500 hours some bunch of crap um These things sound like they've got uh, an issue with the mid frequencies. Um, the bass is uh, is fine. It's not. It wasn't particularly notable in in any way. Um, using Pink Floyd's "On the Run," the Nick Mason part where he's you know constantly tapping on the the cymbal. That sounded a little um, different. Um, Reference going back and forth was the Sony EX 1000s in balance mode. Now, what? Why not do this balance? Because I'd be switching to another DAC, and and it would make a different sound. So, this is the, what I usually listen to as my rig, and uh, those are the I am I usually listen to with that rig. Uh, so that would be my baseline. Compared to those, these have a slightly uh, recessed mid section. A bass is. Bass is fine, uh, and the treble uh, is unique. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean it's different than I'm used to. Uh, these are these are retail for I think 450 to 500. I think it's 450. Uh, that would be in Japan probably add about 100 bucks or 80 bucks because it's an import. Um, is it worth it? I I advise that you get a chance and. Uh, Listen to these if you can. Um, in the price range of that, you really, uh, you really ought to trust your own ears. These are not bass head, obviously. Um, I don't think they're audiophile either. I think the EX 1000s are audiophile, and compared to them, these are not. I don't think that that's what they were aiming for. You know, the multiple tip selection, the ear hook, the this is like a do it all. Uh, I am said. Um, the 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 extras like the quality of the cable. It comes also with a balance cable um, that'll work uh, with the their own unit and other units. Um, it's an outstanding accessory pack. You're not going to be in wanting or needing uh, anything uh, with these. Fit is excellent. Um, isolation is excellent for me. Um, Stage is is okay. Uh, mids are a huge thing for me, um, and if these are having an issue with it, or you know, I will mention these again in the other review when I put these in balance mode with the RHA amp DAC. Maybe there's uh, something there between the PHA3 and this that there's something not clicking. So keep that in mind. Um, sources do make a difference. That that's the way it is. Um, people got sonic preferences. This this doesn't fit mine. I I know that the amp DAC does because I've already been playing with that one. Um, so when I combine this and that, as they were both sent to me, um, I will re-mention these in that other video and give a a final opinion. You know, I was I'm not changing what I said, or I'm gonna say you know what, uh, with this unit and in balance mode, did these actually sound, you know. Whatever conclusion I come to, so I will revisit these because I have a chance in another video. Uh, as it stands right now, coming out of a Sony PH3, listening to America, uh, acoustic guitar and vocals, uh, Pink Floyd panning left and right, uh, and treble detail, um, and uh, Tupac for bass uh, and detail. Um, that this that these have a mids issue. Uh, For their price range, uh, for any price range, to be honest with you, but um, so you know, do I wreck them? I'm, I'm I, I wreck that you go have a listen to these, and I, I'll also mention that I'm and like I'm gonna do from now on. Uh, RHA is a very interactive company, and if you have issues or problems, they will uh, communicate with you. That's not an automatic thing. There's a lot of companies that 
uh, they're they're very very poor at uh, interacting. I'm having an issue right now with a company that I bought multiple things from. My cash. They do a world tour, um, and I, I'm getting double talk. Um, you know, and I said a long time ago, respect my money. Um, this is a tour unit. I didn't pay for these. Um, they've been very nice. Uh, they've been very fair, flexible. Communication has been great. Um, and that that's uh, not automatic. So that's something to keep in mind when considering something. Um, so base is normal. Mid seems slightly recessed. Treble is uh, different than I'm used to. Not bad, different. Um, staging is okay. Um, fit is great. Uh, accessories are awesome. Um, and I recommend that you go have a listen to these. And thank you again to RHA for giving me a chance to be on the tour.